Were you a tough kid? Back in high school, I used to be a mother's boy. I was more like just a just a follower because you know, living in projects, you got what other kids do, you do. Yeah. So basically, I got caught up in that that game. Went to jail. Still in Washington at the airport. An iconic NBA player, Dennis Rodman was nicknamed the Worm for his fierce defensive and rebounding abilities and is, in fact, one of the greatest rebounders to ever play professional basketball, if not the GOAT. And just when you thought Rodman had done it all as far as the NBA is concerned, here comes another demigod, Dennis Thane Rodman, also known as DJ. At the age of 20, the brother to Tiana is far beyond average. So how good is he? Well, watch and find out. But real quick, who is his legendary father? That name doesn't need a second mention. Dennis Rodman is a big human being. His basketball skills are on another level, and his achievements are and will remain a source of inspiration, even for generations to come. The North Central Texas alumni metamorphosized into an NBA god within a very short period. After playing college basketball for three years with North Central Texas, he got his first assignment as a professional basketball player. I said over 100. Over a hundred goddamn times. Yeah. In jail. I was having too many parties at my house. Mm -hmm. And for seven years straight, it was like seven days a week. God! Dennis? Seven days, seven days a week, 24 7. When the 1986 NBA draft rolled around, the Detroit Pistons snagged Rodman with the 27th overall pick. His fierce defense and strong rebounding made him a perfect fit with the Bad Boys. Despite winning two championships in Michigan, things didn't end happily for the Worm. He ultimately demanded a trade and was dealt to the San Antonio Spurs. After a brief spell in Texas, Rodman joined the Chicago Bulls, where he slotted in alongside Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan to do the dirty work. He won three more titles in the Windy City before seeing out his career with the Lakers and Mavericks. He retired from professional basketball in 2006, marking the end of a long journey that had lasted more than two decades. During this time, he earned NBA All-Defensive First Team honors seven times and won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award twice. He also led the NBA in rebounds per game for a record seven consecutive years and won five NBA championships. What was it like playing, you know, with Michael Jordan? He didn't like me at all. Why? I wasn't the church-going guy. Yeah. David Robinson called me the devil. David, so, David called you that. He called me the devil. <laughs> okay, man, whatever. One of the most decorated players the NBA has ever produced, Rodman was even more of a hip-hop artist than an NBA player from the way he conducted himself. But that doesn't make any difference, since hip-hop and NBA are one thing, if not the same. Here's a man who reinvented himself as a bad boy. This was after a suicide attempt in 1993, after which he became notorious for numerous controversial antics. Rodman repeatedly dyed his hair in artificial colors and had many piercings and tattoos, which made him a very unique player. And to add a little drama, he regularly disrupted games by clashing with opposing players and officials, something which critics haven't forgiven him up to date. He famously wore a wedding dress to promote his 1996 autobiography, Bad As I Wanna Be. Rodman also attracted international attention for his visits to North Korea and his subsequent befriending of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in 2013. On a, a book signing thing in New York, I was in a hotel, I said, what should I do, what, what should I wear? So I just came up with this thing and said, how about I just wear a wedding dress and I'll marry myself? It just came to it just out the blue and this famous guy from London came down and said, okay, great. He married his first wife, Annie Bakes in September 1992, but because Rodman is a man whose life is always dramatic, the relationship ended after 82 days. On November 14, 1998, he again exchanged rings with model Carmen Electra at the Little Chapel of the Flowers in Las Vegas, Nevada. People thought this would last for eternity, but not for Rodman. Nine days later, the ever-dramatic fellow filed for an annulment claiming he was of unsound mind when they married. And now, in 1999, Rodman met Michelle Moyer, with whom he had a son, Dennis Jr., DJ, born April 25, 2001. While the thought of Dennis Rodman passing on his genes may alarm some people, Rodman's only son is another icon. DJ Rodman attended Kaiser Elementary in Costa Mesa, California, and Ensign Intermediate School in Newport Beach for middle school. So what part of the game do you think you need to work on the most? Ball handling, I would say. I, I've been, well, I'm, I'm continuing to work on it, but that's why my, my week is. Uh, uh. Yeah. During his days as a high school freshman, Rodman played basketball for Corona de la Mar High School in Newport Beach, California. In his sophomore year, he averaged 19.6 points per game and led his team to a 22-8 record. After the season, Rodman transferred to J. Sarah Catholic High School in San Juan Capistrano, California. 
At J. Sarah Catholic High School, he averaged 24.2 points and 8.9 rebounds in his senior year, and 16.1 points and 6.1 rebounds as a junior. In May 2019, Rodman committed to play college basketball for Washington State. The most challenging player that you played against this season? I'd say Josh Christopher. Josh, why you say that? He dropped 40 on us, but yeah. we, we won. He initially got little playing time during his freshman season, but things changed after Tony Miller's ankle injury. He got a chance to showcase his rare skills, and on January 16th, 2020, Rodman scored a season-high eight points along with five rebounds in a win over Oregon. During his freshman season at Washington State, Rodman averaged 1.7 points and 1.9 rebounds in 11.9 minutes per game through 26 appearances. He therefore had a freshman year to forget, considering that the season was even cut short due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Rodman made 27.5 of his shots and 28.6% from the three-point range. Those early struggles didn't make Washington State want to give up on him just yet, though. Washington State gifted him with more work this year, and he's improved in all areas. Through his first 17 games, Rodman averaged 5.6 points and 3.4 rebounds on 40.7% shooting from the field. During a game between Oregon and Washington State in December 2020, Rodman became the hero of the night. Who's the most challenging team? We said the players, now who's the most challenging team? Challenging team? Yeah. I would say Bosco, St. John Bosco. Okay. The hardest working team I've ever played against. Washington State struggled early on, but the 20-year-old athlete stepped up with a career game. Sophomore DJ Rodman was the name on every lip that night after he stepped in with a huge second-half performance. At a time the Cougars needed it most, DJ Rodman came up huge. With a barrage of big shots, DJ helped the Cougars erase a deep second-half deficit against Oregon State. He finished with a career-high 13 points and went 3-4 from beyond the arc. Dennis Rodman had a legendary NBA career, one that netted him in the Hall of Fame, and his young son, DJ Rodman, has a long way to go before he can suit up in the NBA. Although the young Rodman can declare for this year's draft, which is set for July 29th, it appears unlikely that a team would select him. Rodman's game is still a work in progress, and there aren't enough picks in the NBA draft to justify using one on a raw forward who needs to improve in so many areas. If Rodman leaves school in the coming months, his best bet is either playing internationally or trying to land with a G League team. Everybody got like their favorite go-to move, like, ooh, ooh, what's yours? It's a, I can't do it right now, but it's a, it's a jab into a crossover, pull up. How many ankles have you broke doing that though? Maybe two or three. Still, that might be rushing the process. The younger Rodman has plenty of time to work on his game at Washington State, a program that appears in line for a breakout season next year. He says improving his ball handling and quickness will be crucial in taking his game to the next level, but don't expect his game to look anything like his father's. I've been trying to show that I'm my own player and not like my dad, Rodman Jr. told Prep Hoops. I don't want my dad's shadow on top of me. I just want to go out and play. And it's clear that one of the biggest differences between Dennis and DJ is the younger Rodman's ability to shoot the ball, one of the strongest aspects of his game. He's also more focused on playing ball rather than going wild off the court. So DJ remains determined to match his father's relentless effort and intensity, but he wants to do it in his own way. I knew that he was like that and everyone talks about him that way, he said last year, but that made me want to be something else. I want to have that aggressiveness, intensity, and tenacity that he had, but I want to show it in a different way. And who knows, DJ Rodman may just be the next big thing in the NBA. We hope you enjoyed our video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more entertaining and informative content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our content. We value your feedback a lot, so share your thoughts with us, and also let us know what you think we should cover in the comment section below.